Let's start it off with the main event. A uh, lightweight bout here. Malik Lewis coming in at plus 150 against James Lontop. Coming out of Peru. 24 years of age for him. Uh, Malik Lewis, 27 years of age and 6-1. and one. He has been on the Contender Series before against none other than the Trevor Peak. And nearly had him out in the first round. If you go back and watch that fight, Malik Lewis had a, a great first round against Trevor Peak. Trevor Peak. I mean, if it's not Trevor Peak, he probably gets a first round finish. Trevor Peak is damn durable. Comes back in round two. Malik Lewis is gassed out. Since then, he went out and uh, got a win by a third round TKO in uh, peak fighting back in February. And then he gets the fight here against James Lontop. See, 13 and two for Lontop. Good amount of experience as far as uh, the MMA professional scene goes. And uh, his only loss has come by a submission and one by decision. He's been doing pretty dang good on the regional scene, knocking dudes out, uh, getting some decision wins. And overall, I mean, we've seen Peruvians do pretty dang good on the contender series this year. So it's tough to go against him. He's coming in as the favorite, though. The, the ones that have been coming through are the dogs. So maybe uh, he's getting a little overpriced here. But either way, this should be a good scrap. I mean, for 155, these guys hit pretty hard, and they're, they're going to go out there and throw. Who do you like it in this one? Yeah, like you said, man, for 155, this is like the prime style for both guys that makes a fun fight. And, uh, you know, Lontop has 11 fights in the last two and a half to three years. Like, this dude is active. He's always wanting to fight. And, uh, you know, just knowing how active he is and that he loves doing this, he kind of shows that in the octagon because he'll throw hands. He'll brawl with guys. He might not be the most technical, uh, but he is a dog, and you can see that. And he is powerful as well. So a lot of times if he stays in the pocket, he'll land a big shot and, get fights to finish but for Malik Lewis like even though he took the loss against Trevor Peak um I think he showed how dangerous and powerful he is as well I think he probably learned a lot in that fight with Peak because after having him hurt he just kind of emptied the tank and he was burning hot and then just had nothing left in round 2 once he knew Peak was going to survive everything he threw at him and then he gets finished so to bounce back in your next fight and win by third round TKO, it's like, okay, it shows that maybe he can fight all three rounds. Maybe he learned something. Maybe um, taking that loss to a guy like Peak wasn't the worst thing in the world. Um, I do, I have problems with him getting into these brawls, though, with a guy like Lon Top. Like, that just screams to me, this fight could end either way. Like, both of these guys, if you watch their tape, they both have power. Um, I, I think... Lontop's opponents like the level of competition isn't that bad when you look at this record it just depends like you know I guess what that regional scene has to offer and who his opponents have been fighting but um to the naked eye like he's not fighting bums by any means so it, it is tough to pick I think it might be dog or pass here especially with how dangerous Lewis is um and if you're going to get him a plus money that's probably what I'm going to be leaning at um because like I said he holds power as well he's a good striker um maybe the better well-rounded fighter here you just can't get clipped by Lontop because he's got some power as well. Yeah, Malik Lewis, pretty big lightweight. I mean, six foot. And uh, you look at him against Trevor Peak, like he looks pretty big. And, and especially in his last fight, if you look at him against Paulo Silva, like he looks pretty dang big. He'll mix in the wrestling uh, from here and there, but for the most part, he's going to want to stand and strike with you. Um, but even James Lontop, like he's been fighting at welterweight his last what, three or four fights. So, I mean, we'll see how he looks at 155. He, not like he hasn't fought at 155 before, but either way, it is a difference. Uh, so he's also a pretty big 155-er. He's a young guy, um, and he's never been knocked out. So I look at this like if it's on the feet, Montop is uh, he's going to throw a lot at you. I think he probably out-volumes Malik Lewis and can be more active. So I'm going to go with Lontop for the pick. Kind of tough to take a chalk in a, a fight <clears> like this. But either way, he'll be the pick. Um, and it should be a good scrap. Malik Lewis, second time here. He's got to get it done now. If he doesn't, odds are the UFC uh, dream. Probably just got one step uh, yeah. further away. 